Namibia. Located on the southern west coast of Africa, this country is one of the most sparsely populated on the planet. This means that it is largely untouched, and as a result is an adventurous dream. Namibia is seven times larger than the UK, and is therefore, unsurprisingly, filled with so many exciting things to see and do. As a result, it can be a little daunting knowing how to plan your trip. But don't worry, I'm here to help you out. I've compiled a list of what I believe to be the top five best things to do in Namibia. So, why don't we dive straight in? In no particular order, here are my top five. Number one, Nankuse Wildlife Sanctuary. Located no more than half an hour's drive out of the capital of Windhoek, this non-profit organisation is the perfect start or end to your Namibia trip. Nankuse is an organisation that rescues and rehabilitates injured and orphaned animals. They provide opportunities to volunteer, stay at their luxury lodges or just visit the sanctuary for a day and take part in one of their many exciting activities. Sadly, many animals that come to the sanctuary cannot be released back into the wild, either due to an injury or just because they have grown up with close contact with humans. These permanent residents can be visited as part of the activities. Activities include feedings or even walking some of the tame animals such as caracals, baby baboons or even cheetahs. It's a very educational experience and you can be happy knowing that your money is going to a very worthy cause. 2. Etosha National Park To the very north of Namibia lies Etosha National Park, Namibia's most renowned national park. Etosha is home to a vast array of wildlife, including four of the big five, elephant, rhino, lion and leopard. There are opportunities to camp or stay in the lodges on the border to the national park. From there you can either participate in guided or self-guide safaris around the park. I personally recommend self-drive as it is more cost effective and nothing can rival the freedom of driving around the park on your own. We went for the self-drive option and saw lots of wildlife, including giraffes and lions. 3. Damara Land Just north of the Skeleton Coast and south of Etosha is Damara Land. This area of Namibia is incredibly scenic, with large rock formations dotted throughout the landscape. This desert region feels like stepping back in time and you'll be sure to see locals travelling on horseback or by donkey-driven cart. As well as the cultural aspect, this area is teeming with wildlife. Desert elephants like to travel through here, so if you're lucky, you might get to see some. What I loved the most about Damara Land was the feeling I got whilst being there. I can only describe it as feeling like you're on another planet, one very far away from anything we know back home. I was in awe of the place. 4. The Skeleton Coast This eerie stretch of coastline earned its name as a result of the numerous shipwrecks that have come to their salty graves along the shores. A combination of rough seas, strong winds and thick fog caused their untimely demise. Sadly, shipwreck spotting isn't as easy as I'd have hoped, but it's still worth visiting it, if only for the thrill factor. The Skeleton Coast is a barren stretch of coastline unlike anything I've seen before. However, the towns are lively and colourful, making it very interesting to visit. The large town of Swatikund contains numerous activities and is very popular for adventure sports. 5. Sossusvlei Okay, so maybe I have saved the best till last. Sossusvlei was the highlight of my Namibia trip. Located in the Namib desert, Sossusvlei is home to some of the tallest sand dunes in the world. The drive into Sossusvlei in itself is an adventure. If you have a 4x4, then you can drive right into the heart of Sossusvlei, bouncing over thick sand. As well as admiring the scenery and wildlife, you can climb the dunes and trek to find dead vlei, a pan that's home to many dead camel thorn trees. Sadly, I have no footage of them, as I never found them. But it seems I'm unusual in that respect. Most people don't seem to have an issue finding dead vlei. So, that concludes my top 5 things to do in Namibia. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and maybe give me a comment. If you're new here, please smash the subscribe button to see more videos like this. And if you haven't done so already, you may wish to check out my Namibia vlog series to find out even more about amazing Namibia. That's all from me today. I'll see you in the next video.